Hey YouTube, Dread Joker here, and today we're going to be taking a look at one of my all-time favorite Katoki Design mobile suits that gets next to no screen time. This is the Master Grade Jim Quell from Stardust Memory and Advance of Zeta. Also, for those very much paying attention, that one scene in Gundam Narrative. Why the hell did this thing not get more screen time? Is it just because, hey, we've already technically seen it because it was a modified Jim Kai? I'm sorry, I meant Jim Custom. Jim Kai was, um, different. <laughs> yeah, that, that, there's points for paying attention. Um, starting off, you'll see a lot of silver on this kit. None of that came with this kit. This was actually me with my chroming pen, because I... What, you're gonna put dark lines on a dark mobile suit? You're never gonna see them. So, I decided to make everything look all nice and flush, uh, starting off with, uh, the visor does not come red. It actually comes clear, just straight up clear. So what I did was I had an, uh, a metallic red Gundam marker that was, I, I believe it's pretty close to the end of its lifespan, so it's not properly mixed. And so that actually allowed the transparency effect to come through. Then I put chrome behind there while I was building it, just to make it pop a little further through. It, it does work. You can see it works a little well. Uh, seam lines on this are, like, the nub marks are the worst, because this is a very old school kit. In fact, this was manufactured all the way back in 1999. I was four when this kit came out. So this thing has held up remarkably well for being 21 years old. And I, I actually love this thing. I didn't think I would like it as much as I did, but I, I love it. It's got a couple of, it, it's got one area that it could really use some improvement in, but other than that, the rest of the kit's solid as a rock. So, doing a quick spin after I zoom out here, just reposition the camera a little bit, you can see that there is red in the thrusters, right back here. This actually comes this way. The rest of the thrusters on this thing do not. I painted those myself with a regular red Gundam marker, and they turned out very well. All I'm going to say is when you screw up, Gundam marker remover will save your butt. Also, you can see I uh, did some d different lining here. I used my chroming pen as a panel liner, and it looks really really good helps highlight all that all that jazz that's there gives it some nice feel got the nice thrusters coming out of his butt thrusters coming out of the sides of his you know strangely enough though he has cameras on his ankles like I, I don't understand this this is a cool design but what? Why are there why are there cameras down here? You got a thruster on the inside of the leg, nothing on the outside. It's okay. Aesthetically, this is a very different mobile suit. And for those of you wondering, why does this look familiar? Like, haven't I seen this somewhere before? Yes, you actually may have if you were looking at Master Grade Advance of Zeta stuff, as there is a base that this is technically one of the bases for uh, one of the hazels. So it's this one, it comes with the full head, but the Gundam mark... Basically, they took the Gundam Mark II, started moving some parts around like the head, it, it was a little smaller on this one, because it was a hazel of course, they gave it a different backpack. Uh, you had a similar rifle, then you had some other equipment, but overall, they did change a, the one area that I believe had to be fixed. In all of the later releases of this kit, well, the premium Bandai ones at least, they started switching out the original frame parts down here for the hip. It's still got the ball jointed hips up here, they all do. But they started swapping out everything below that with the 2.0's legs so it can have much better range. That's the one thing you're going to hear about on this. The, the knees, they don't bend as far as they can, 
but that's actually a limitation of the armor, not the frame. The frame itself actually has a much, much deeper knee bend than what's actually going to be shown. Like, I want to say it's near double. That's So if you know what you're doing and you can remove these sections right here, just right here because it slams up here, if you remove all this, you'll get a much deeper knee bend. But consequently, you'll also have to uh, seal everything down here together. So pick what you're going to do, unless you have a bunch of this kit lying around, at which point, you know, send me one. I love this thing. <laughs> but unless you know what you're doing, uh, don't really attempt this. Now, getting into the articulation, he's actually got a lot more than you would think. Like, so the head is pretty much paralyzed. Like, there's no giggity, no nothing. It's basic, minimal up, minimal down. Um, but can do a full 360, so it can be the exorcist if you want. Do -do 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 -do. Arms. They are on ball joints in here, but a peg here. It's weird. And the shoulder pad locks in. So, right away, it's got excellent range here. Unrestricted outwards. 360. Perfect. Bicep. 360. Hand has the wrist has a double O and styled, or should I say, double O has a Stardust memory styled rocking joint here. Then, oh yeah, oh yeah, this suit can flex. It's got an opening cockpit that's not the most elaborate. I'm just gonna be honest. Oop, that's it. It's also not on the best hinge either, so. I apologize, my lighting rig is still um, offline because my camera's being a jerk. Now, because this kit is so old, they actually give you a 1100 figure with it. I'm sorry, a 120th scale figure of Nina. One of the worst. Fight me on this. I think you're going to agree. One of the worst girlfriends in Gundam history. She almost gets her boyfriend killed multiple times. For this kit, you also get this beam rifle, which may look familiar. Well, that's because it is. If you have the premium Bandai Gym 2, there's the rifle. So, for those custom builders out there, guess what? Get this kit, or find a way to print that part. Take this sensor, move it over to the Gym 2, or to a... Uh, the Master Grade Gym 2.0, and boom, there you go. There's your Gym 2. Then just repaint it again. Boom, there's your AU colors. Surprise. You also get this rifle. I actually like this bullpup rifle. This is a nice design. Unfortunately, it does have issues holding it. So it does have a removable ammo magazine. And this is the only one you get. The rest of these are... The, the other two included are uh, mock magazines that you can't actually apply. They are... They are very thin. Getting him to hold this. You have to do it at an angle. Insert, fold that, fold that. There you go. And now he's like, problem. The threat has been quelled. Yeah, I know, bad joke. Moving this up out of his hand so I can get back to work. Uh, he's got super premium front skirting and scary enough premium butt flaps so that puts his hip range really good there's backwards there's forwards so we can do the full running man splits um yeah yeah you can do the classic splits uh they're outward though you're looking at it he can do a, a V pose. That's it. Hip skirting is movable too, just not very. You're on a ball joint at the this section here. So this all works. Knees. This is where I said the worst part is. But it's not actually the worst part. You got 90 degrees. For a kit from 99, 
90 was pushing it. 90 was really pushing it. You've also got um, a good range of motion on the foot. You can move this little flappy armor bit here. I haven't went as far as to paint the foot. Because if I ever put this thing airborne, and by the way, there's no action base connected. The action base didn't exist back back then, so. Uh, for whatever reason, the heel moves on these. This is actually how it's designed, so. It's uh, different. And for those of you who have ever built this kit, or have ever built the, uh, the gym custom, you might be like, okay, wait a minute, I know there's something else that this kit comes with. Yeah, it it says not to use it. You get an extra beam saber. Why do you get an extra beam saber? This kit, the Gym Custom, I wish they did a Master Grade uh, Gym Cannon too, but I don't believe they ever did, and if they did, somebody please let me know about it. I, I need that chonky boy in my life. And... Believe it or not, the NT1 Alex 1.0 all share the same frame, much like the Ground Gundam and pretty much all Federation suits from the 8th MS team share the same frame. But none of them have the same markings on the runner. With the 8th MS team, they actually thought to just mark all the runners like that, which, like, which was a good thought. Made a little naving convention hard, but it worked. But if you want to have this with two beam sabers in the back, which is non-canon, but, you know, that's what custom gunpla are all about. You can take a drill and go through up here. There is a channel back here for the beam saber, too. And so you can have both beam sabers equipped, but just be warned, it will collide with this antenna, of which you do get a second one. I don't know what the difference really is, though, between the antennas, because it says not to use one of them. Additionally, in here, you also get this really good looking shield again crumbed it out a little bit like even the back doesn't look that bad and you've got a connection point it's on a little poly cap here so you put that in he's never going to drop that shield but you also have an additional so you can pull this handle up here it's on a poly cap and this peg so it can rotate so if you want you can actually have him holding the shield forward but what's cool is so I'm going to open up the hand all the way. I'm going to line it up and slide it. It's going to want to get stuck a little bit, but just, just give it a push. There we go. Now you can fully close this up. And, and look at that. It's actually wedged with the armor. So there goes the beam saber. Oh yeah, that ain't moving anytime soon. And the beam saber just slots in there, you know, so it's, so it's like, fine. But at the end of the day, uh, the $36 I paid for this kit, I would happily buy more. This is fantastic. This is something everybody should have at least one of in their collection. And if I find more, yes, I do plan on getting them. This is a very, very good kit. Also, not to mention that beautiful head sculpt. I don't, I wish I had my Jesta out so I could take a picture with them next to each other. But that'll come later, so anybody in the group who wants to see that, hey, it'll happen eventually. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down in the comments section below. If you feel like joining the group, I will leave a link to the Discord in the description below. And please, come on down. We all enjoy... We're just a bunch of builders who like having fun. So, please, feel free to join us sometime. Thank you very much for watching. Peace.